football. Tonight it's the Falcons of Monroe High School and the South of the Rams. Well, hi everybody, I'm Craig Scup along with Art London, and tonight the Rams try to break a six-game losing streak, get a win under their belt before state playoffs start March 4th. The Rams have dropped six in a row, come off their loss last week at North Brunswick, 69-57. The Rams record on the year now 7 and 10. They've also dropped the last three here at Fitzpatrick, while the Falcons on their second-year coach, Jim Griffin, are 11 and 10. And they're led by their fine senior guard, Joe Alfano. And the Rams have to have trouble with the Falcons. They have a big front line. Cecil Smith had a good ball game against the Rams early in the year. He goes about 220 pounds. In fact, had 21 in the Monroe Victory over South River, 54-51. The second time in two years the Rams have been beaten at Monroe. Rams starting lineup tonight, Rodney Harris, Sid Crawford, Bruce Palumba, Mike DeSantis, and Ian Ivanovich, the freshman, getting the start. For Matushin, it's number 45, Cecil Smith, number 31, George Turk, number 40, Nate Peters, number 32, Kevin Wilson, and number 20, Joe Alfano. It'll be Sid Crawford and Cecil Smith start the ball game. Rams going right to left here in the first half. Rams in the maroon trimmed with gray. Monroe in the road white trimmed with blue. Here's Sid Crawford underneath. Sid's first two. Rams lead it 2 nothing. 7.35 to play first quarter. Rams 7 and 10, the number eight seed in Central Jersey Group One traveling on uh, Turk officials for tonight's game, Joe Balai and Steve Kobolinski. As we take a look at first year coach Keith Pudak. Rams are host Perth Amboy Votech, the number nine seed. March the fourth here at Fitzpatrick. The winner takes on the number one seed, Zebras of New Brunswick. Ivanovich, no good. Crawford, Banker won't go, gets his own follow. -up. So nice work on the offensive board by Sydney. 4-0, South River on top. Rams have had rough luck the last two years at Monroe. Losing each of that, those two contests in the final seconds. Some poor foul shooting really hurt the Rams earlier this year in their three-point loss to the Falcons. The seven Rams victory, South Brunswick twice, Metuchen, North Brunswick, Spotswood, Saraville, and E.B. Votech. The ten losses for the Rams, Piscataway, Votech, Carteret twice, New Brunswick twice, Monroe, Metuchen, St. Mary, St. Playfield, South Plainfield, and North Brunswick. A blocking foul on junior George Turk. His first. First on the team, so Ron Harris will toss in for South River. Rams lead it 4 0, 650 remaining, first quarter. Ian Ivanovich with the basketball. Palumba at the baseline, looking to go inside to Crawford, can't do it back outside. Rodney Harris with basketball. Rodney's really come on. The high man for South River. The loss to New Brunswick, 27. Rodney didn't play early in the year against Monroe. Set out that game with an ankle injury. Here's Palumba wide open. The jumper is long. Battle for the rebound and control by Alfano. Flips up ahead to Nate Peters spinning. Goes glass and hits. First two for the sophomore. Did not start early in the air. Has really come on for Jim Griffin. and gets the starting nod tonight. 4-2 Rams. 5.50 to play first quarter. It's Rodney Harris. Won't go. Back tap. And race down by Ian Ivanovich. Harris to DeSantis is wide open. First two for DeSantis is off the assist from Rodney Harris. Rams by four, six, two, five and a half remaining first quarter. Oh, 
Tiesel Smith off the turnaround, won't go. Ivanovich on the rebound. Bad shot by Cecil, forced that one over Crawford. Here's Sydney in the lane, 10-footer, won't go. Back tap, here's Ivanovich to DeSantis. Banker won't go. Battle for the rebound, we get a whistle. Foul is on Monroe. Wait the call from Joe Balli. Cecil Smith, his first, second on the team. So Harris will toss in. Rams with a four-point lead in the basketball. Columba had a notion, lost control. All right, Rams have been in a bit of a snide and uh, want to get at least one win under the belt as Crawford goes inside for their state contest with Perth Amboy Votech. Tonight's game is important. A, as you said, they got to get a little momentum. They, they sure need it. They haven't been playing well. And there should be a little competition against them and Monroe. They should have won the first game. It should be sticking in their minds that they should have won that game. There's Alfano out high, wide open. Set shot won't go. And that time, inadvertently tapped in. And we'll credit Alfano. Bruce Palumba knocked that one back in. So 8-4, Rams by four. Rams offense comes in averaging 50, while the defense gives up about 59 per contest. Another turnover by the Rams. So Ian Ivanovich, a freshman tonight, Art, getting a starting spot. Well, you need players. You need to find that combination. And he's been hot and cold all season. Maybe he can prove himself. He'll see himself starting next week against uh, Perth Amboy Tech. Here's Cecil Smith. Banker won't go. Turk battles. We get a whistle underneath. On Bruce Palumba, his first, first on the team. Rams will be graduating. Bruce Palumba, Sid Crawford, Michael Lapore, Mike DeSantis, Joe Errico. Rams got to give the underclassmen some experience. Rodney Harris will be back. And Ian Ivanovich. Rams will lose a, really the bulk of their, their lineup, their first seven. They're going to lose their height, but uh, there have been some junior varsity players and freshmen that have been playing well. They should have a small team next year, but they have a quick team. Uh, you don't have to be big to win in high school basketball. It helps, but uh, you see some talent out there. Columbus bank shot won't go. Cecil Smith on the rebound. 8-4 Rams. 3-12 to play first quarter. Wilson's jumper won't go. Here's Peters underneath. Wild shot. Gets his own rebound and banks it home. Four for the sophomore. Eight, six Rams. Backcourt pressure by the Falcons. Harris easily breaks it. Loses control. Palumba going baseline. Peters may have gotten a piece of that. There's Alfano up ahead to Wilson. Reverse won't go. Helter Skelter basketball. Here's Wilson from the baseline. In and out, and Sid Crawford controls the rebound. Play's been a bit ragged, Art. It sure has. There's not much defense out there. They're throwing it up, and uh, each team's getting a lot of shots at the basket. Uh, it was kind of this way the last time they played Monroe, except South River in the final half uh, just couldn't buy anything. Some poor free throw shooting I mentioned earlier, Art. Really hurt the Rams in that loss. It sure did. Uh, and I think they played without Rodney Harris. He was out with an injury. That might be the difference. All right, Rams didn't play in the uh, GMC tourney. Of course, the girls were knocked out in round one by Woodbridge. What's your thoughts on that? A blessing in disguise for South River? Or probably would have drew either Colonia, E.B. E. Carter, Carteret, or uh, New Brunswick in that opening round. Uh, losing six in a row, they didn't really deserve to be in. Uh, they would have won maybe the South Plainfield game they might have been in, but uh, I don't think, the only thing that hurt them is that they were off for such a period of time. The girls, the girls should have won their game. There's no doubt about it. Sanson's jumper long, back half, and controlled by Peters. And a foul on Bruce Palumba, his second personal, second on the team. And 
Joe Alfano and Kevin Wilson in the backcourt for the Falcons of Monroe High School. Monroe trailing here 10-6. Wilson gets the roll. Kevin Wilson's first two. That Ramley down a two, 10-8. Backcourt pressure, under a minute to play first quarter. Here's Sidney, had a notion, throws back outside. Ian Ivanovich wide open, he's got it. First two for the freshman, 12-8 Rams with 45 seconds to play first quarter. Alfano pushes it across. Takes a return from Wilson. Turk forces, won't go. Palumba on the rebound. They look at the knee brace on number 45, Cecil Smith. Really has got to be tough and frustrating for a high school athlete to play with such a heavy brace. You always heard the stories of Joe Namath and so many pro athletes with really bad knee injuries just hanging on with their lives with a, a heavy knee brace. See the young man that's unfortunate, and he's going to have to be burdened with that, you know, wherever he goes. And I'm sure it's going to be a detriment, but I don't think he's a basketball player. He's probably a football player anyway. Oh, uh, Sydney misses out the buzzer. Good one for the Rams. A score up to one. South over 12, Monroe 8. Stay with us. Look at Sydney Crawford, bound for Rutgers next year in a football scholarship. Football schedule next year, all right. First three are away. Rams have only three home games at William C. Denny Stadium. Real strange schedule. New teams are playing Keyport. We're playing Petty. We're playing New Brunswick on a Sunday. It's going to be different. Uh, there should be a nucleus of pretty good football club. A lot of returners. They didn't graduate that many. It's a long way off, but it's something to look forward to. Turk off the turnaround in the lane. His first two. St. Pius on his schedule. The one bad thing are, though, so many games on the road, it doesn't matter how good a team you never like to play that many games on the road. The Rams had five away games this year. Yeah, six away games next year. Yeah, it takes away because, you know, like some of those places, it's a, it's a real travel and you lose your attendance. And even though South River does support the football team very well, uh, you like to play in your home confines. A petty game is away. Keyport, Rams don't have to travel down the shore for that one. That contest is home. Since Crawford's shot rejected, by George Turk, quickly the other way. Joe Alfano leads the break. Wilson with the floater won't go. Turk underneath. So George Turk, number 31. Almost said George Turk, 182. That movie's gonna be on TV 35 pretty soon, isn't it? Good movie, Craig. If, if they got it on cable, watch it. It's a, it's a real enjoyment. Sid Crawford going down hard. That's a couple big bodies. Cecil Smith, who goes about 220. Sid Crawford about 250. And he did call a foul on Cecil Smith. His second personal. Third on the team. We're tied at 12. We're a minute in second quarter. Rams trying to break a six-game losing streak. As far as the states go, Art, and the Rams against... First down by Votech will not be that easy of a ball game. The winner of that gets the Zebras of New Brunswick. Odie Page's club going for their fourth straight Central Jersey Group 1 crown. They sure are the class of the county in Group 1, and they're right up there with Carteret and East Brunswick as the best teams in the county. The Sansa jumper is long. Turk on the rebound. We're tied at 12. 6.25 to play first half. Second meeting on the year between these two clubs. The touching won the earlier contest, 54-51. Smith is double team. Nice pass to Alfano. Misses the jumper. Harris controls the rebound. Palumba, and he is hammered by Turk. Turk second, and the play of Rodney Harris in the later stages of the year after the ankle injury heal. It's a pleasant sign for next year. We need a lot of points next year from Rodney as number 33 Mike Scanella has come on for Monroe replacing Nate Peters. Second half of the season, Rodney has really turned it on. He sure has. The only problem is when Rodney got hot, Sid Crawford had some off games, and it really hurt the team. Rodney is a top guard. Uh, he just needs more confidence to take more shots and uh, do his thing when he gets out there. 
Lumba makes one of two Rams, a one-point edge, 13-12. We're two minutes in, second quarter. Our final dish is off here is Wilson, back outside, had the shot. Wilson from the baseline, bank shot way off, and Crawford another rebound for Sydney. Harris spinning away from Wilson. Sydney takes it right to Turk and hits. Sydney going glass. He's got eight here in the first half. That Ram lead back at three, 15 12. Five and a half remaining first half of Fitzpatrick. Rams also trying to break a three game losing streak here at home. Those last two home games here are, it seems so long ago against South Plainfield and St. Mary. They sure did, but the rest seemed to help uh, Sid Crawford. He looks better. Wilson misses. Battle for the rebound. Picked off the floor by Turk. So George Turk, three field goals, six points. Had eight against the Rams early in the year. 15-14, Rams by one, with 4.55 to play first half. Ian Ivanovich and Wilson got a piece of that. Crawford short jumper got it. Sydney with 10, that Ram lead back up at three. 17-14, 4.35 to play first half. Alfano under pressure from Harris dishes off. Traveling, substitution, Michael Lepore has come on for Bruce Palumba. Cecil Smith has come on replacing number 31, George Turk, who leaves with six points. Rams with the lead in the basketball, 17-14. 2-1-2 zone defense implied by Jim Griffin, second year coach. Falcons were 11 and 12 last year. Griffin trying to turn the program around. They were three and 18 two seasons ago. Here's DeSantis, rims the basket. Cecil Smith on the rebound. Under four minutes to play first half. Ganella dishes off. Alfano out high, looking for an open foul. He gets inside Smith to Scanella, banks it home. Nice feed from Cecil Smith to Mike Scanella, his first two. 17-16 Rams with 325 remaining first half. Keith Hudak wants a timeout. Rams lead it by one. You're watching South River TV 35. Take a look at senior Mike Lepore, set to toss in. He's working out of the backcourt with Rodney Harris. There's Rodney Harris back outside to Lepore. Very deliberate south of her offense here. As you approach the three minute mark, of the first half. Rams by one. Falcons are playing a tight zone defense. They are. They're outside South River right now. South River got to get a good shot off. This is reverse blocked by Cecil Smith. Alfano controls. Falcons can take the lead with a bucket. They trail 17-16. 2.35 to play first half. Alley oop, Cecil Smith. Nice feed from Alfano, caught the Rams snapping. First two for the junior. Falcons back on top, 18-17. Lepore from deep, he's got it. First two for Mike, Rams go back on top, 19-18. 205 to play first half. Alfano, that set shot in and out. Harris had it blocked by DeSantis and a jump ball. And the Rams will take over off the possession clock.
A minute 50 remaining, first half, backcourt pressure from the Falcons. Up ahead to DeSantis. There's Crawford in the lane, strip of the ball, and Alfano saved. But he says he stepped on the baseline, so it'll be Rams ball. Nice try by the seniors, Joe Alfano. Set a Monroe High School record this year in soccer for most assists. Monroe had a really good soccer team this past fall. And Joe Alfano, one of the main reasons for that success. Leading scorer, Joe Alfano for the Falcons, 12.6 per ball game. Rodney Harris has four. Been a quiet first half for Rodney, the way he's been shooting as late. I think he's two for two right now. Uh, neither team wants to give in. They're playing tough. It, it looks like it's going to be a game down to the wire. 21-18 Rams, a minute 12 to play. Here's Harris in the lane back outside. Smith going baseline. We get a whistle and a reaching in foul on Michael Lepore. His first third team foul on the Rams. George Turk returns for the Falcons, replacing Ken Harris. Another substitution, number 11, senior Ed Weiss has come on. Weiss started early in the year, replaced in the lineup by sophomore Nate Peters. It's Weiss with the basketball. Under a minute to play first half. South River by three. Alfano from deep. Joe with four. 21-20 Rams with 40 seconds to play first half. Harrison front court, double team. Lepore dishes off to Crawford, banks it home. Sydney, six field goals, 12 points. Rams back on top by three. 23-20, 22 seconds to play first half. See that the Falcons hold for the final shot of the first half. 15 seconds to play. Weiss looking to go inside. Back door to Wilson. We get a whistle underneath with 11. Foul on South River. Michael Poor second. Rams over the limit, front end of a one-on-one. Check the two shots. For Kevin Wilson, 5'10 senior, had six points against the Rams earlier in the year in the Monroe win. Kevin was the sixth man last year. Been a starter right throughout the course of the 85-86 campaign. Has four points on the night, 23-22 Rams, 11 seconds to play. Backcourt pressure from the Falcons, seven seconds. The poor double team, here's three seconds. Harris pops, no good at the buzzer. So the score at halftime from Fitzpatrick. South River 23, Monroe 22. We'll be back with third quarter action in just a moment. Third quarter action, Monroe goes with Kevin Wilson, Joe Alfano, Cecil Smith, Nate Peters, and George Turk. As Wilson jumper won't go, back tap and controlled by Smith, his short jumper won't go. Fought for by Turk, he's stripping the ball, gets it back and hit. A lot of work on the offensive boards by Monroe. They take the lead 24-23. Leading scores, Turk with eight. Alfano has two, Wilson two for South River. Sid Crawford, the high man with 12. And the Rams go back on top, 25-24. Nate Peters' jumper won't go, and we get a foul underneath as Ian Ivanovich is knocked down hard against Monroe. Number 40, Nate Peters. Backcourt pressure from the Falcons. Harris, double team, looking for an open ram. Gets it up to Ivanovich. Cross court to DeSantis. Here's Rodney Harris spinning. Sid Crawford, we have traveling. 
So it'll be Monroe ball off the South River turnover. Rams by one, 25-24. Sidney Crawford with seven field goals, 14 points. There's Cecil Smith intended for Peters, lost it out of bounds. Six forty remaining third quarter. Rams by one. Here's DeSantis in front court. Up ahead to Palava and he lost it out of bounds. The ragged play by both clubs. We start the second half. Rams going with the same five that started the ball game. Smith dishes off. Peters had a notion. Wilson dishes underneath and last touch by Mike DeSantis. Falcons forcing their passes underneath. Yeah, Craig, Monroe has such a height advantage on South River. I don't know why they're not going into their big men. Spread the, uh, the defense out and go into those big men underneath. Turk has a lot of offensive rebounds here in this ball game. As to Cecil Smith, here's Alfano off the crossover. Turk another rebound. Baseline jumper is good. High arcing shot. He's got 10. Falcons back on top. 26-25. Ivanovich up ahead to Crawford. Here's Columba. In and out. Sydney's follow is good. The Rams three tries at the basket. Finally connect. 27-26. South River back on top. 5.35 to play third quarter. Rams trying to break a six-game losing streak which includes three straight losses at home, rejected by Crawford. Wilson a toss in to Alfano. Smith finds Turk, short jumper, gets the roll. Like he said, all right, they're going inside, six field goals, 12 points for junior George Turk. And a traveling that time on Rod Harris. It'll be Monroe Ball to trigger in right in front of the Ram bench. Smith forces over Crawford, won't go. Harris controls the rebound. Rodney from deep, won't go, battle for the rebound. Peters has it off the back cap. Falcons by one, 28-27, 435 to play third quarter. Monroe outscored the Rams 14-11 in the second quarter. There's Peters going glass. Six for the sophomore, three-point Monroe edge, 30-27. Palumba in front court. Pass knocked away, stolen by Wilson. Easy two. 32-27 Monroe. 4.05 to play third quarter. Five points, the biggest lead of the basketball game for Monroe. Ivanovich jumper is long and the Falcons control. Alfano off the drive and get a whistle underneath on Mike DeSantis. His first personal. Not a shooting foul, so Monroe will toss in near sideline. Falcons with the lead in the basketball. Five-point advantage. Near steal by Harrison. Caught reaching in his first. All right, Rams had that good stretch early in the year when wins over North Brunswick and Spotswood away, Cerebral away, 
South Brunswick here. But since then, they've really hit a snide as Harris takes it to the hoop and hits. That was their best stretch of the year. Quickly the other way, Smith, reverse, won't go. Crawford knocking down Palumbo for the rebound. There's Ivanovich in front court. 32-29 Falcons. Under three minutes to play, third quarter. Palumbo from the baseline. Bruce with three, 32-31. That Falcon lead down to one. Peters back out high to Wilson. Alfano had a notion, two and a half to play third quarter. Inside, Turk lost it out of bounds. Couldn't find the handle, so the Rams will take over. Rams can take the lead with a basket here. Palumba cross court to DeSantis, who pops. Mike with four, Rams go back on top, 33-32. Nice feed from Palumba. Alfano out high. Cross court to Wilson. Smith reverse, no good. And last touch once again by George Turk. Got the third reverse that Cecil Smith has missed. Craig, the last couple times down the floor, South River has had a better rhythm. They're looking for their open man. They're doing the right things. Uh, maybe they found themselves for a few minutes. In the beginning of the third quarter, they didn't. They just didn't like they were in the game. Ian Ivanovich doesn't get the roll, and Smith controls. He's tripped up. No foul. Three on one. Here's Wilson over Harris. Falcons go back on top, 34-33. Wilson with eight, and we get a whistle traveling. are primarily going a five-man lineup bar and Michael Porth saw some action in the first half. And a battle for the ball underneath. It'll be South River's ball off the possession clock. They haven't, although now they're a little size better with Monroe. Monroe still has a definite height advantage on them. And what South River's letting Monroe do on offense is set up and take their time. South River's got to make them run and, and shoot. Rams move it across, under a minute to play, third quarter. Crawford from the baseline, too hard, Smith on the rebound. Alfano up ahead to Peters. Short shot won't go, Palumbo flips up ahead to Harris. Gets away from Alfano, takes it all the way, reverse won't go. Crawford underneath, follow is good. Sydney with 18. 35-34 Rams, Wilson, and an offensive foul. First on Kevin Wilson, just mowed down that time. Bruce Palumba stood his position. Rams with the lead in the basketball, 35-34. 25 seconds remaining, and Jim Griffin yelling to his club to pick up the Rams at backcourt. See if the Rams hold for the final shot of the quarter. 20 seconds to play. Rams haven't moved it across yet. Finally get it up to DeSantis with 12 seconds. Now seven seconds of play. Mike DeSantis wide open, gets the roll, and that'll do it. The score after three, South River 37, Monroe 34, stay with us. Good third quarter for South River, outscoring the Falcons 14 to 12. Rams start the fourth with Ian Ivanovich, Rod Harris, Bruce Palumbo, Sid Crawford, and Mike DeSantis. For Monroe, it's Cecil Smith, Kevin Wilson, Nate Peters, George Turk, and Joe Alfano. 
Kevin Wilson a toss in to start the fourth quarter here. Fitzpatrick Rams trying to snap that six game losing streak. Try to go inside. It's stolen by Sid Crawford. Craig, what South River really needs here in the fourth quarter is to put a team away. They haven't done it all year, and it would really help them right here. They got to make the good shots, and they got to build up that lead and keep building on it. Last couple of games at home, I've gone down the wire, South Plainfield and St. Mary's. Foul as Ivanovich drove, and they say offensive foul. First on Ian. Alfano walks it across, 37-34 Ram, cross court to Wilson, had a notion back outside, trying to get it inside the big George Turk, here's Smith off the glass, Cecil Smith, he's been busy on the boards, quiet offensively, just has four, had 21 against the Rams early in the year, that's a big offensive game, he had 21 against JFK. Falcons lost that contest, 48-46. Harris off the head fake, brought it back outside. Crawford and traveling. So Monroe will take over off the turnover. The Falcons trail, 37-36. 6.55 to play in the ball game. Joe Alfano connects from deep. Six points is just about to say he's had a quiet game. Puts the Falcons, though, back on top, 38-37. Joe had 16 against the Rams early in the year. Comes in averaging 12.6 per ball game. Mike DeSantis is wide open. Doesn't get the roll. Crawford bank shot won't go. Another rebound by Cecil Smith. An emphatic rebound by the 6'3 junior. Falcons by one. Under six minutes to play. Fourth quarter. Inside, Peters double team scores over Palumba, the sophomore with eight, 40 37. Keith Hudak wants a timeout, 5 34 to play. Fourth quarter, stay with us. Falcons have outscored South River six to nothing here in the fourth quarter. Five twenty-five to play in the ball game. It's been a back and forth contest. Rams control. Ivanovich over Turk, no good. Smith another rebound. South is getting one shot right now, Craig, and they're not concentrating on playing team basketball. They have to run a little bit. They can't go deliberate. Rams have been getting beat down the floor that time. Fortunate. Monroe turned the ball over. Palumbo off the turnaround, no good. Battle for the rebound, last touch by DeSantis. Michael Lepore has come on for Ian Ivanovich. 4.56 to play in the ball game. Falcons by three, 40-37. Wilson. Wide open, jumpers long, battle for it, Rams control, Harris quickly in front court, three on two, takes a return and he's fouled. Nice pass from Michael Lepore, Rodney with eight. And Rams, are, it's such a different ball club and it's such a different ball game when Rodney pushes that ball across and starts the fast break. They sure do, and that's what they gotta do. You let that other team set up when you have a height advantage, when they have a height advantage on you and you're, you're not gonna do well. That was a nice play. 
Rodney makes the three-point play. Got nine. Season high this year. 34 against St. Mary's South Amboy. At 27 in the last ball game against North Brunswick. Peters wide open. No good tip by Smith. Won't go. Battle for the rebound. And it looks like George Turk over the back. His third. So we're tied at 40. 4-12 to play in the ballgame. Lepore pushes it across. And another traveling call. Monroe crowd kind of call that one. Yeah, the official hesitated and got a little help from the bench. So 40 all approaching the four-minute mark, fourth quarter. Wilson had a notion. Rams have been in the zone right throughout a whistle. Three seconds. And substitution, Mike Scanella returns, replacing Nate Peters. No, Craig, George Turk has been quiet the second half. I think all he had 12 points all in the first half. That's what's keeping South River in the game. Stolen by Monroe. Here's Alfano holds up. Pressured by Harris. 3.35 to play in the ball game. Rams and Falcons tied at 40. Turk puts on the floor. Tries to go inside and we get a kick. Wilson off the jumper won't go. Harris quickly in forecourt. The Sanchez floater won't go. And controlled by Wilson. Rams couldn't convert off that opportunity. Under three minutes to go. We're tied at 40. All right, the last three ball games, it's Patrick right down the wire. Rams hope the outcome is a little different than the previous two. Again, South River's letting Monroe play their game right now, and it's hurting South River. They've got to run. All right, he's about to say he can't leave Joe Alfano with that outside jumper. He got four field goals for eight. Falcons back on top, 42-40, 225 to play in the ball game. Harris up ahead to Palumba. Columbus shot rejected by Turk. Crawford takes it to the hoop. No good. Back tap and race down by Scanella. Under two minutes to play in the ball game. Falcons with the lead in the basketball. 42-40 Monroe. They may just be content to sit on or possibly slow it down and kind of trap the Rams into a backdoor play like that. Nice call, Craig. 44-40, Falcons with a four-point edge, just a minute 35 to play. Ram needs some hoops in a hurry. Palumba from the baseline, he's got it. South River timeout, so with a minute 26 to play in the fourth quarter, Falcons lead it 44-42. Falcons have outscored the Rams 20-15 to thus far in the fourth quarter. A minute 26 to play, Falcons by two, and we'll see some backcourt pressure from South River. Uh, sophomore Nate Peters will toss in. Gets it into Alfano, and the Rams drop back just a little bit. A minute 20 to play, Falcons by two. Near steal by Crawford, Smith goes between the legs. A minute to play in the ball game. Monroe on top, 44-42. Craig South River's got to double up on the ball now. Well, Fano gets control to Turk, and it's 
stolen by Mike Lepore. Falcons have had some sloppy passing in the second half. 40 seconds to play. Columba had an ocean. A lot of time for South River. Here's Lepore. Won't go to Sansas. Brings it back outside. Half a minute to play. Back outside to Harris with 22 seconds. Columba pops. No good. In control by Joe Alfano. 15 seconds. Double teamed and a foul on South River. Rams had their opportunity. Second personal on Harris. It's only the fourth team foul, Craig, uh, according to my calculations. So it gives the South River the opportunity to, to take an inbound pass in. Not in the one and one yet. Let's look at Keith Hudak on the sideline. And Monroe wants a timeout. Let's take a break. 13 seconds to play. Monroe with the lead, 44-42. We have a very fast ball game tonight at Fitzpatrick. Very few free throws. Kevin Wilson is two for two, and that's it for Monroe. Rams have just tried three. Bruce Palumbo one for two, and Rodney Harris with one. So 13 seconds to play. Peters will toss in. Next foul by South River will put the Falcons in the one and one. Alfano, we get a reaching in foul on Lapore with 11 seconds. And Joe Alfano, an excellent shooter. Not the one you probably wanted to foul. Uh, definitely not, but that's what you had to do. You have to hope he misses the front end and go for that tie. So Joe Alfano's got eight points on the night, averaging 12 per ball game. Had 16 early in the year against South River. 11 seconds to play. Front end of a one and one. Falcon lead at three. It'll be tough for the Rams to come back here. Lane violation on Monroe, and the Rams will take over, trailing by three. Gutsy call from Joe Balli. 11 seconds to go. Crawford, and he's fouled by Cecil Smith and Jim Griffin walking to the other end of the bench if he can't blame him. That's not what he wanted. Could have just let the man go in, take the shot, and almost run out the clock. Now South River is going to have a shot at stealing the inbound. So Sydney, who had 23 early in the year against Monroe, He's got 18 tonight. Be shooting two shots when we return. You're watching your source for South River Sports, South River TV 35. So that foul by Cecil Smith, his third, gives the Rams life. Two free throws for Sid Crawford. The only Ram averaging in double figures this year, 13.9 points per game. Now a 45-43 ball game. I think Sid will miss this one on purpose. The Rams try to get the rebound. Monroe's got a big club. It's hard to say. He may go for it and then go for the inbound steal. 45-44. Rams want a timeout. Let's take a break. Six seconds to play in the ball game. Rams going with Mike DeSantis, Sid Crawford, Michael Lepore, Rodney Harris, and Bruce Palumba. Be Cecil Smith, Nate Peters, Joe Alfano, Kevin Wilson, and George Turk to inbounds for Monroe. Six seconds to play in the game. And Alfano will toss in. It has Bruce Palumba on him. Long pass for Wilson and stepped on the baseline with four seconds. There'll be South River ball, four seconds to play. Now Jim Griffin wants a timeout. Stay with us, we got ourselves a good ball game from Fitzpatrick, 45-44 Falcons. All right, how quickly the game changes. Joe Alfano is on the line. He could have given the Falcons a four point lead that lane violation, he only could shoot one free throw. And now at four seconds to go, Rams one final try, that's Nate Peters 
on Bruce Palumba to Rodney Harris. The Sid Crawford long jumper, no good. So the final score from Fitzpatrick, Monroe 45, South River 44. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Hey, Andy doesn't even let me fix my hair anymore. He's so anxious to get out of here. He must have an important date or something. Let's run down the score. Another tough loss. I'll get Andy back for that. 45-44. The Rams now drop to 7-11. They dropped their seventh in a row. Their fourth straight loss at Fitzpatrick. Run down the scoring for South River. Bruce Palumba had five. Sid Crawford had a good ball game. Finished with 20. Michael Porter did not play that much tonight. Had just two. Rodney Harris not going double figures. Had just nine. Mike DeSantis had three field goals for six. And Ina Vonovich, who started the ball game, had a field goal for two for the Falcons of Monroe now 12 and 10 on the year. Cecil Smith had six. George Turk had a good first half. He finished with 12. Joe Alfano had nine. Kevin Wilson, eight. Nate Peters, eight. And Mike Scanella came off the bench with two points. Rams outscored in the fourth, 11 to seven. And this game was just so reminiscent of so many games for the patch. The Rams hung in there, got some breaks in the end, but just couldn't pull out the victory. The Rams have lost a lot of close ball game. The season, the way it's turned out, a lot of blowout and the close ball games that could have made it win, you know, a season either way, the Rams have lost. Carbon copies, game after game. They can't be close at the end. They've got to put people away. They had some opportunities in the fourth quarter. They missed layups. Uh, it doesn't give them a good posture for next Tuesday's game, but as uh, I heard WCTC say about Rutgers, the heat is on. It's elimination. You want to finish your season, you lose. You want to keep on playing, you got to win. Rams will move on to the States against Perth Amboy Votech, the number nine seed, South River, number eight seed. Winner of that gets the number one seed, New Brunswick, which is no gift. No, it isn't, but, well, there's the old cliche about three times. I doubt it. New Brunswick's just a power, power team. But you've got to take that shot. you you got to try to get in there. It's happened before. So keep watching TV 35. We'll